We are checking out Milford. This is the River Walk. It's a pleasant, clean area. So just relax. There's some basketball courts. And on the opposite side is the downtown area with lots to see and do. This is pretty nice. So Nick.com gives no third Delaware an overall grade of B. Uh, he gets B for public schools, C for crime and safety, B minus for nightlife, A plus for diversity, B minus, actually B uh, for B good for families and C for housing. Milford is a town in Delaware with a population of roughly 11,463 and it's located in Sussex County. So we'll go downtown and check it out. Boys, this way. Boys. Oh, they're checking out the river. Okay. Very pretty town. Real estate, medium home value. Uh, again, this is, according to niche.com, is 199600 Median rent, $1,003. Median household income here is 45948 There's about 49 reviews on niche.com. Want to check out this block real quick. See what's over here. An art gallery. Aloha is a Mexican restaurant and bar. There's some renovations here. And a bar. Let's go this way.
and that reads this building is international evangelism uh, mania evangelism mania interesting let's go down this way we'll cut, cut around back onto main street there's the first presbyterian church and across the street is the milford trust the milford trust company building yep we're going down this way boys gonna head off the beaten path for a second One person writes on niche.com there isn't really anything super bad or great about milford it's pretty much just an average town the location is nice so since it's near rehoboth beach and dover which both have a lot of things to do especially in the summertime what'd you get holy cow stop 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 Wow, you got a praying mantis on your shoulder. Well, buddy. Who put that there? He's gonna bite you. He's not gonna bite you. He's not gonna bite you. He's not gonna bite you. Hold up. Hold up. Stop. Let him go. He's not gonna bite you, dude. Yeah, he is. He's not gonna bite you. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll let him go. Hold on, buddy. Don't move. Oh, no. Don't. Why? <laughs> is he on me? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Jesus Christ. That's. Logan, let him go, please. I felt like it was feeling something to me. Oh, go, wow. Go put him on the bushes. Yeah, put him on a bush. Cross the road and go put him on the bushes. <laughs> oh, my God. That scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Wow. Let him go. Just let him go. Let him be. Let him be, Logan. Please. Wow, that was hilarious. I got the whole thing on video. I got the whole thing, babe, on, on video. Wow. I give, I give Cameron a lot of credit. I would have screamed like a girl. If that thing landed on me, I would have yelled. Did it feel weird when you saw it? Yeah, because... This is still part of the river walk over here. But we're checking out everything. The town. Wow. That had that had my heart racing. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think it was real for a second. I'm like, there's no way that. I think he's because Cameron likes to play a lot of pranks. I thought this was gonna be like a prank. You bought something. Wow. How would I find that? That thing landed on you, or did you pick it up and no, put it? Logan kicked it. I put it. I put it like I I uh, touched it and it flew on Logan's shoe. <laughs> it on my oh my God! Let's cross, guys. Wow. Wow. Well, that was fun. A little excitement in Milford. Oh, where was I? Let's give, read some very good reviews. That's funny. person writes gives it four out of five stars <laughs> although it is too quiet for my personal taste the city of milford has been beneficial to my family and me for the past four to five years that doesn't tell me much another person writes milford is a very small town but it's very quiet and comfortable even though we are a very small town, we have a huge community of people that love to help one another. And also there's not as much crime that takes place. 
as much as Wilmington, Delaware or Dover, Delaware. So that's good. I'll take that. And excellent. If you see a, a locust or a praying mantis, please do not kick it my way. He's got that evil smile. He's like, man, just wait. Just wait. All right. One more review. Five out of five stars this guy gives it. Milford, Delaware is a great town. There's many activities to do here. It's a town where mostly everyone knows everyone. The town is building up quickly. A brand new hospital was built in 2019 and now a big attraction is being renovated into a movie theater. This is a town which will soon be highly rated place to live. Families are often living here for a lifetime. Okay, well, let's keep on exploring. Funeral home across the street. There's a historic building built in 1811. Okay. This is the Francis Vineyard House up in front of us. And so this is the, the historic district. I want to check out that international store. Look at this house. This looks like the house from Salem, Massachusetts. The witch house. And the, next to it is a pink Victorian. Actually, they're all Victorian for the most part. Pretty little home on the corner. So we are on North Street and West Northwest Front Street. Wow, this looks like an interesting building. I'll try not to get hit by a car. But yeah, check it out. Tattoo shop to our left. And now we're going to be approaching North Walnut Street. Some nice artwork on the side of this building. Eric loves artwork. Yeah, you are. 
scoop. What is this? Oh, that's okay. We were gonna go around them. The international stores over here. Alright. This here is the senior center to our right. And if you're looking to buy some insurance, home, owner insurance, auto, life, and health, you go to the insurance market. Property, casualty, the list goes on and on. You can get all types of insurance these days. Nice painting on the side of arenas. Nice cultural painting. I like it. So Milford is in Kent and Sussex County. And the 2020 census, this is according to Wikipedia, the population of the city is 11,190. And there's a total of 4,356 households here. There's a shopping center to our left. And this area was first settled back in 1680 by Henry Bowen on what was known as the Sawmill Range. A century later, the Reverend Sydenham Thorne built a dam across the Mispillion River to generate power for his grist mill and sawmill. Walking across this pretty bridge. There we go. I wonder if there's any fishing in this little stream. Probably some decent fish. Do you know if there's any fish in this? Water? Uh, yeah, it's fishing there. Yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you, man. Uh-huh. See? The lo locals know best. Some basketball hoops. And that's it, guys. That pretty much wraps up Milford, Delaware. Uh, we hit up the downtown area, walked around a little bit. Saw the historic parts. And on to the next. Until late and the next time. Peace. Checking out the Gigante International Full Food Market here in Wolfram. Oh, I like this. Look at this Batman piñata. Wow. They got some 
corn. Look at these big pieces of corn. Ah, oh, these are fatties. The kids are getting drinks. What? What? I want a drink too. Decisions, decisions. Watermelon, pineapple. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm going for that cherry drink. Nice and cool in the store, I like it. Eric, stay close, mister. I've never seen that fruit before. I'm not sure what that is. Wow. It's called Chaita Espina. I'm not sure what that is. I've never seen that before. That's why we're in the international market. Some radish. I like it. We got that olive oil. Check out their seafood section. They got some octopus, some shrimp, some huge fish, tilapia, I believe. Mm. What is that right there? Pork mutton. They got some stiff beef. Oh, yeah. Some meat products. Is that liver? No, oh, that's chicken hearts and chicken necks and chicken livers. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, huggy waggy pinata. Eric is getting so excited. <laughs> huggy waggy pinata. All right, well, we got our drinks. What is over here? What's this? Don't be distracted. 